teachers and schools are adapting to a new way of educating students. Due to COVID-19 and stay-at-home restrictions, schools have turned to online instruction. Throughout Texas, there are educational service centers that are divided into regions. Troy Siegler, Associate Executive Director of Region 16, says all 62 school districts within the region have been affected by COVID-19. Our largest school district is Amarillo ISD and they have approximately 30,000 kids, uh, whereas we have our smallest school district, K through 12, is roughly 58 kids. Uh, and so when you have that range of size of schools, uh, you have all different problems with that. Most of our schools have been uh, trying to do a blended model as far as working with uh, online instruction as well as packets. The challenge schools are facing are utilizing whatever a community has and determining what is the best form to continue to educate kids while at home. So the service center, we've been working to help them in all ranges uh, from dealing with how are you going to continue to feed kids through school being closed and ultimately how are we going to continue education and to continue to keep the kids engaged and keep the learning process going. Whether students are using online or packets, teachers have had to adjust on how to connect and support their students. Bowie sixth grade English teacher Kimberly Siegler has 20 out of 76 students using online instruction while the others are using packets but still says technology is the only way to communicate to her students. I think COVID-19 is going to bring um, a lot of forefront thinking about the way we use technology in the schools because we have had to rely on technology to get through this process. These are unprecedented times, but everyone is figuring out their own way to get through this and continue education. Reporting from Media OCU, I'm Brennan Siegler.